Hey guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the accuracy of the light bulbs and their claims of the consumption per item or per light bulb. Here I have a variety of them from some expensive ones to some cheaper ones, some brand name ones and some even unbranded ones. As you see, they're all the new LED styles and we're going to go through some of them just to measure what they claim versus what they really draw from our system because what really matters on them is not what they say on the label but what we pay for as you see the meter the kilowatt meter right now is at zero zero on the watt and here's the voltage 121 as you see just so we're accurate on this one let's go back to watts zero zero and let's start with one of these lamps this one is made by uh, general electric it claims here on the side that it's supposed to draw only four and a half watts i'm not sure if the camera will focus good on it but the claim here says four and a half watts right somewhere there so let me plug it in and see what it does in reality these are the numbers here and when the lamp turns on i'm not sure if you guys can see and uh, let's see from four and a half this one actually passes even better it says only 3.5 that's drawing so this is great this lamp right here passes the test we take it out of here but now let me show you another one that uh, changes this story just so slightly it's one of those kind of walmart whatever brand and this one claims to take 5.6 watts i'm not sure if you guys can see it here yes it has some paint on it but it is what it is 5.6 watts let's plug it in and see what it really takes and as you see it's not 5.6 watts is 6.1 watts so now this one takes more than what it promises on the label yes the uh draw is not that huge but if you're seriously conserving wattage over 365 days and hours and all that stuff you see where i'm going with that and now let's go to some more expensive ones and test if they stand accurate to the test this one is made by fate f-e-i-t if you can see that and claims to draw 14 watts well let's put it on this one is the heaviest that i own and it's one of the most expensive ones that i own and let's see the 14 watts and it's only taken 13.1 that is excellent that is excellent and let's take this one out and test the most commonly used lamp in kitchens this is just a regular flat kitchen spotlight whatever you want to call it that we all use mostly on kitchens and this one claims to take eight watts now we are gonna test that i don't know if you can see it on camera there that says eight watts let's plug it in and put that against its claim and as you see it goes 8.5 i'm not sure if you can see the meter there it says 8.5 8.4 8.5 that is not that bad but it's over the uh claim and usually for a uh, bulb to be a uh, high quality has to either meet the claim or be under yes those are supposed to have been uh tested under optimal conditions and at their best so if this one takes eight and a half it should be either written eight and a half or nine but not eight so that is a not a good practice to put it at eight when it actually takes more than eight just like the other one that we saw here eco smart if you put it under uh 5.6 watts it should not take seven watts so let me test it again and yes 6.1 but the claim is 5.6 that's not good that should not happen to a high quality bulb it always should not exceed the claim that's on it to be considered a good quality at least in my estimation now let's go with a bigger one this one doesn't even have a label as you see here and these are kind of the wild cards that are sold sometimes at uh dollar stores walmart and all that they, they don't even say anything they don't have any information it's just so wild to even guess but i'm gonna test it should be around 10 probably but let's see looks like around nine yep looks like it's around nine but these are now dangerous because there's no information there's no company here that made it i don't know how it was made 
If I open it, there is only a board number that I can look up probably on Google, but that's not enough help. That's just not enough to know what's going on here, who made it, who, what's the company. And even if you take this one, there's only a shrink wrap under it. That's it. And, and these could actually get into real dangerous territories because we don't know who built them, what quality LEDs are they built with. There's so many unknown vectors that we don't know about and now let me test one of those that are not quite cheap but not the most expensive they're found usually on kind of what i would call furniture products or chandeliers and uh, it's that kind of cute looking led which is just an led and uh, the claim on this one is 13 watts i'm not sure if you can see it there with the camera but it says 13 watts made in usa this is supposed to be high quality because these are not the cheapest let's plug it in and test it against the 13 watts and as you see now that is a good quality it's 12.3 it does not exceed the uh given amount that has printed on the lamp itself now that is good quality and the company that makes it has a good quality control to not get out of their hand. And this one is just made from great value. What do you know? It's great value, which is owned by Walmart, if I'm not wrong. Right there, it says great value. So just because some bulbs are made by a company, where was it? That says EcoSmart. That's supposed to be more expensive than great value. But EcoSmart is not accurate on the information printed on the label on their claim of the current or the wattage that they claim to draw so great value versus eco smart great value comes up as accurate and good quality control eco smart on the other hand no because it's taken more than it claims that should never be the case always should be either equal or lower I understand that weather conditions, when it's colder or too hot and all that, can influence that part of these uh, LED lamps. But in this room, I'm in optimal weather conditions. The temperature is around 70, 68 to 70 under air condition. The uh, electricity coming to this room is all filtered. So there is proper ground. And there's no reason for any of them to actually count it otherwise and uh, here i'm gonna go with maybe probably one or two if i have a different version i have one here that's uh made by ge refresh led it says and uh, this one claims to have be 8.5 watts let's see 8.5 watts okay and looks like it's around seven from 8.5 to seven now this one has a lot of life left on it this is a good quality one now this does under what it claims to to spend and to me this is good quality and good control this is why this matters so it's not claiming to be a uh 8.5 and take 12 it's 8.5 takes only seven or seven point something that means they leave some leg room to themselves so these are the automate automatic mighty bulb i had i bought the uh, cheapo version to test here and we're gonna see what this one really does and if it stands to their claim to not spend more than absolutely needed i have another one that's open it's the same exact company i'm gonna plug it in and take a look what it does when it's on standby i'm gonna turn it on this one will flip back off okay because it's meant to do that and uh they claim this to be at nine watts when it's operating as you see there it uses nine watts let me turn it on and when it turned on went to seven and when it's on standby is this turns on when all the lights are off so when it doesn't detect light it goes off and if i can reproduce a light going out that would be great and as you see right here right now it's on yep and it's taking 9.3 instead of 9 sharp that it promises as you see 9.3 on the meter if i let it go usually it should turn off with the sensor because i have lights going on but it's not turning on and this one is not terrible but you're not supposed to put nine watts you should put here 9.5 or 10 if you know that your lamp 
will go at 9.3 now let's take this out <clears throat> and the last one i'm gonna go with today is one of those labs that are not the most expensive but it's not really cheap either azram they claim to be 8.5 watts i'm not sure if you can see that made made by azram and let's test it and this will be the last one for today right here and azram azram passes the test in a great fashion because it claims 8.5 but it goes only at 8.2 and 8.3 now this is a good quality that's what i consider good quality or at least great quality control from the company they're not claiming what they don't do if the wattage they claim here exceeds what the reading shows that's great quality if the wattage that they claim here is lower than what the reading shows that's a bad quality and that's why you should probably test them sometimes it's easy to build one of these things here it's just a socket connected to a wire in my case i have it through a switch but you can do it without a switch you have lamp testers actually that you can buy for a few dollars as well plug it in plug it in the kilowatt you can find these kilowatt meters at the harbor freight as well or ebay or wherever and test your devices yourself so don't just rely on the meter from the city don't just rely on the labels written by the company you can rely on yourself by reading it yourself and taking a look at what you're spending with your devices by yourself because if you click this one here you'll see how many kilowatts for example that device has spent since the moment that you started testing it and if you click again you see the time that you spent testing that device and in this case obviously we didn't spend a kilowatt or even 0.1 kilowatt because it didn't start counting but that's uh, pretty much it about this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something and we will see you next time please like and subscribe bye